This is, a this is a video of our game. My granddaughter and I played it the last few weeks all the time. I was teaching her about geoengineering in an easy way that she could understand. Super volcanoes, I learned, that when they blow, they get so much ash in the stratosphere that it drops the temperature of the Earth by so much of a degree that it creates an ice age, a mini ice age called a nuclear winter. The ash is called, that it creates in the atmosphere with the sulfuric globules that change into what's called a volcanic mirror. So the super volcano shoots too much ash. The little volcanoes on Earth do not shoot as, with as much power. Because of that, they don't get enough ash to the stratosphere to cool the Earth at all. They just make a big mess everywhere. The medium volcano represents to her that if we use the right amount of ash in the stratosphere, it would create a volcanic screen, just enough scientifically deciding how much that would be, we could actually keep the, the Earth's temperature set by using something nature itself uses all the time. Here she is. These are? These are volcanoes, and the little one shoots too little ash, and it doesn't cool the Earth. And the big one is a super volcano, and it shoots too big um ash. And the medium one... What does the big one do? It creates a... It creates an ice age, and everything turns to ice. And the medium one is... Represents... Represents... The right amount... The right amount of ash up in the stratosphere to, to cool the earth and the people and save the and save the planet these are these are volcanoes now the cool thing about this is that we played this game this is our game we played it every day for a long time a couple of weeks because that was the only way i could think of to teach her what i was trying to say my daughter the other day told me to pull something up two days ago and when I did, I was amazed to see our game. That was the first thing I thought when I pulled up the pictures. That's the game we play every day. The big volcano, the medium volcano, and the little volcano. And then I looked at the Sphinx. And what is the Sphinx? It represents man and beast covered by a protective head covering over its head to protect it from the heat of the, from the heat. And behind it, the man-made or being-made volcano. I believe the Gaza pyramids are our game. They represent using a volcano and the ash from it to protect man and beast. Thank you.